Hey everyone, so today I am very excited for the video because we are doing every room as a different TV series challenge. I've made a list of 13 of my favorite TV shows, all that I've watched fairly recently, and we have a generator to go through and decide each TV show for every room. Okay, the TV shows are The Good Place, Stranger Things, Friends, Criminal Minds, Gossip Girl, Mad Men, Breaking Bad, The Queen's Gambit, Pose, Mr. Robot, Ozark, Black Mirror, and The Serpent. I am very intrigued how this house is gonna turn out out, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is the shell of the house that we are going to use today. This is called the sunshine shell actually. It's on my gallery. It's completely empty for you all to fill with your stories and to decorate it. And actually we do tour some of your builds on the last stream of every month on Twitch. But okay, these are the rooms that we are working with. We have the main entranceway. I guess we could consider that a room. Let's do the lounge here, maybe an office space here. A kitchen diner would be good actually to separate it. No, no, no. Let's forget the office. Let's do a dining room here, kitchen here, pantry, bathroom. And then upstairs we have two bedrooms, I believe. Yeah, one, two, wardrobe, bathroom, hallway. So a lot of rooms to get through, but we do have 13 options of TV shows. So random generator at the ready. I'm hoping for a good one. Let's start with, should we start with something easy and do the hallway? Okay, tap the spin, let's go. Oh, friends. It's right on the line. Friends, okay. Friends is good. Friends is a good one for the hallway. I wish we'd picked the lounge actually for friends, but okay, we can do this. My memory is really not very good, so I'm definitely gonna be needing some inspiration for these builds. <gasps> this is actually so exciting. Okay, you know what we definitely need to do? We need that purple wall that will just help establish the rest of the story. Yeah, let's do this one. All right, then we obviously need some bricks like this because this for me feels very New York. Monica and Rachel had blinds, so let's do blinds in here. Oh, you know what we can do? We can kind of make this look like the back window where they were spying on their neighbors. So it looks like they have a small office desk in this corner, actually just something like this. And then they had an armchair just next to it. I'm thinking something like this feels very Friends inspired. Weirdly, the lamp kind of looks like this or like a combination of this and this. But personally, I hate those. So I'm gonna try to do something else. Maybe just this. Okay, then should we get a computer on the desk? Let's go with something like this. All right, here we're gonna do a bookshelf in a gray tone and we definitely Definitely need a carpet, a shabby chic carpet like this. All right, then here I'm taking inspiration from another wall that I see in this picture. It is between the kitchen and the bathroom. They have quite a dramatic wall light that looks like this with a picture underneath. There you go, I think that's pretty accurate. And then next to it, we need candles. Perfect, there you go. All right, I've changed these stairs to dark brown. It just goes better with the rest of the house. Oh, wait, I've just seen they have another table in their living space that kind of resembles this one and you know what the artwork above it kind of looks like the one from paranormal actually it kind of looks like this more and on top it looks like they have a million picture frames so let's see if I can pull out as many as possible we are slightly limited to pictures of fruits in this game for some reason <laughs> done and do you feel like we're missing something here maybe here we'll just do like the shoes and the coat hook all right and there we go this is our friends hallway so so here we just have a little entranceway obviously our gallery wall and all the pictures. And here we have a little study in the hallway. I've just added the matching chair and the lamp. And then here we have the office. So let's move on. I'm feeling ready to tackle the lounge. Let's go. Gossip girl, oh my goodness. That is gonna be fun, but it could not be more different to our friend's room. Gossip girl set. We do need to start with a big piano that really sets the scene. And we kind of need some more fancy columns. So I'm tempted to go and change these. Okay, our piano takes up a good one third of the room but we do have enough to put at least a few chairs, maybe a table. I really wanna do the red columns. Now I'm not gonna put them here because I think it would ruin the flow of the house, but I will just put one in the corner just for reference. The Waldorf penthouse also has black and white tiles like this. So what if we just did like maybe two rows like that? I think that's fun. And it looks like there is a gray couch and then a few armchairs. I'm going straight to the highest price items. Oh, something like this is fun. Let's do this from Paranormal. Having one pillar is annoying me, so I'm gonna go with two pillars and then we're gonna do some artwork in the middle. There you go, something like this. And now let's go in with, it looks like purpley or brown armchairs. You know what? It actually looks more like these, but I think that's way too much in here. That's way too much going on. Okay, I've added a coffee table and now let's put a little light on top of it. Something expensive like this one. 
then we need a big bouquet of flowers for on top of the piano and more picture frames. Why do all these TV shows have picture frames everywhere? <gasps> That looks kind of nice. Let me copy a few of these pictures here. <laughs> I've removed them from here and instead we're putting over there. It looks a little bit more subtle. All right, it's coming together well, but I think we are missing a white carpet and then that might be it. Okay, I think we are done. I would love to put a glass coffee table, but there is definitely no space if we do that. But other than that, I think we have all of the main elements. I would love to do the red pillar still, so hang on. We just don't have many good red pillars. Like this one here doesn't look as luxurious. Neither does that one. Oh, that one kind of does. It's completely different to the reference picture, but no, that one's the best one by far. Yay, Gossip Girl Lounge done. But now let's move on to the dining room. So generator ready. Ozark. Okay, Ozark is going to be interesting. Ozark is just very blue and gray and dark and eerie. Okay, I think we're lucky that this is just the dining room because we can make this just dark and cold, a little bit lifeless. I'm thinking of just just doing dark gray walls. Ozark was such a good series though. If anyone, ha if you haven't seen any of these TV shows, I highly recommend them. Okay, so let's do dark wood for the dining table. And they run a casino in the later series, which I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I'm trying not to give any spoilers away for any of these TV shows, but let's definitely do a few hints to casinos in this room. All right, I'm gonna cover up all the blinds because then it looks like they're doing something really suspicious in here. Okay. This is good. Let's do this here. This kind of looks like it could be in a casino. I think it's a stereo, but it looks like it could be a slot machine or something. Okay, we're gonna do these two lights here because it kind of looks like interrogation lights at a police station. And I think we do need a fireplace in here. Just a small one, something like this. In black, of course. This room just looks very lifeless, but that really perfectly describes Ozark. And I do think we need a wood paneling detail wall because they do live in a wooden house. There you go. And we of course need money bags. Okay, in bb.show hidden objects, we have loads of this money. So I'm just gonna scatter this on the table. There you go, there's the money bag. All right, that is perfect. That is definitely an Ozark room. So dark and seedy and you know something suspicious is going on there. So let's move on to the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen is a big room. So we need a really good aesthetic TV show. And we've got Mr. Robot. <laughs> For those who haven't seen Mr. Robot. It is a psychological thriller. It's very technology heavy. All right, I'm gonna do walls like this, I think, in the kitchen. No idea why, but they just give me Mr. Robot vibes. And then right away, we definitely need all of the listening devices and things like that from Strangerville. These things, the listening devices, that is very Mr. Robot. And then maybe on this side, we'll do something like this, all of his supplies. This is also brilliant. I think I might make a little work station here. That's also Mr. Robot. How can I get this in? Okay, a bar could work in the kitchen, but I don't think our kitchen's big enough to have a bar and all the kitchen cabinets, but that would be perfect for Mr. Robot. And hopefully I can find enough space to do the actual kitchen items, which we haven't even gotten yet. I'm actually tempted to move the door over here for the bathroom, and then at least I can use this for cabinets. Yep, let's do that. Sacrifices have to be made, and all of this paperwork and box boxes definitely needs to be scattered around the room. The space is definitely messy. Things like this, perfect. All right, we need a chair and then I think this side of the room is good to go. But our only problem is being able to make this kitchen here actually usable. So let me get a few cabinets. This, I don't think our Sims will be able to get through. What if I just push this up here and then actually the bar is just decoration. And then we might even be able to turn this into a bit of an island. This is definitely the weirdest kitchen I have ever built. Let's do a mini fridge here and then we can do a sink and an oven in this corner. There we go, a completely usable kitchen. This is so much fun to build. This is definitely more fun than building normal houses. I do highly recommend it. I was gonna be all innocent and use magic utensils, but you know what actually is more likely to be here? A wall of knives. Should we give them some paper towels? Maybe at least they want paper towels just to 
clean up any mess that they make. You know what they do need though? A coffee machine. A coffee machine on the mini fridge and then I think that's pretty much it. They definitely wouldn't have any fruit bowls. So that is our Mr. Robot kitchen. <laughs> it's so funny. This house is just amazing. Can you imagine a real Sim living here? Okay, now we're moving on to the pantry because clearly whichever Sim lives here it takes their food and cooking really seriously. Okay, here we go. Criminal Minds! Well, we don't have that much space to work with, but Criminal Minds, you know what that means. This needs to be a crime scene. Let me pull out some objects from Debug. Hang on, before I do that, I've just placed this item from Dine Out. This is what we're gonna use as our pantry stuff. And I've placed a really mysterious looking treasure box. So I wonder what's hiding in that treasure box. Gonna do some newspaper underneath this. Maybe some stain marks. I don't know if we have blood stains, but we have water stains here. I think that might do the job. We don't actually have human DNA prints, but we do have paw prints. So what if we pretend these are like hand prints or marks of some sort? Right, I'm doing some other items that make it look like a pantry. And maybe this X that implies this is where the body was. Okay, I just found this plumbing upgrade part. I'm gonna try to make it look like the murder weapon maybe. And we have this as well. Let's also tuck this behind here. So there's two murder weapons. Okay, I've just taken this tape from Get Famous to create more of a story for the crime scene and now I'm looking in Get to Work in Debug because I realize we have an entire career dedicated to crime scenes so hopefully we have some good stuff. Oh we can do this. Let's do this here right in front of the door. Let's do a camera. Let's do a camera above even though it's technically not in this room. I guess this is to monitor like who's coming in. A lot of these things disappear for some reason. A lot of these items like this it disappears when you place it. <gasps> Yes, this is what we needed. Okay, ready? There we go. This crime scene and the body outline, that is perfect. Oh, this house is so twisted. All right, let's hope we get something a little bit more innocent for the bathroom. Let's roll. Oh my goodness. Breaking Bad. I don't think you can get much darker than Breaking Bad. This house is so dark and evil. All right, Breaking Bad, let's see what we can do. Well, you know what? As this is the bathroom, I think the easiest thing to do in here is a chemistry lab. So this will be taken from probably the first episode in the trailer. So don't worry, there's no spoilers there. All right, we're gonna do a chemistry lab with a toilet, of course. And then at least we can do a sink and that makes sense. I think shelving would be better and lots of pipes. Yeah, we're gonna do things like this. Wait, I've just seen these from Batu. These are so much better. Oh my goodness, I need these. I need these in here somewhere. This toilet is gonna have to go here. And instead, I've sized this down. That's why it keeps flashing. We'll do this. <laughs> it's actually very accurate and very Breaking Bad. There you go. This is their lab. Okay, now let's go to props. We're gonna do this here as a lab coat. Okay, now I've just added a few details to the shelf. We have some crystals, some gems. This kind of looks like like it could be the periodic table or just some kind of chemistry chart and obviously a hazard sign and that is it that is our breaking bad bathroom <laughs> okay i'm hoping that upstairs is a little bit more happy so let's get into bedroom one back here the serpent okay the serpent is really really good the serpent is filmed in a lot of different places but we will do bangkok in 1970s that i think is the most inspiring um decor that they had it's a little bit seedy i'm not going to give any um, spoilers, but they would definitely have a wall like this. And then the rest we will do. This palm tree wallpaper is also very accurate. So we're gonna do that everywhere else. We need long dangly curtains and these are perfect. Then let's do the bed. Okay, we're gonna do this bed here because the beds in the serpent are pretty much always unmade. We'll do a mirror in this corner and then a little bedside table light on this side. All right, and this is the side of the bed done. Really not that much clutter. Okay, we're gonna do a wardrobe on this side and a TV, something like like this, I think is good really old fashioned. And we need a chair. All right, I've just added this lamp from Paranormal, this chair from Island Living. And now we're adding a fan because it's probably very hot where they are. Oh, we need a fan in here. Of course, that's better than a light. Okay, we've swapped the fan to this one from Island Living, I think. Okay, now we're gonna get a rug, maybe in brown, I think, in a 70s print. Yeah, that's quite fun. Or this one. I think that one's still the best. There we go. There is our serpent inspired room. Okay, onto the hallway. 
way. The good place. I completely forgot that was on here, but this is going to be a really fun hallway compared to the rest of the house. The color scheme for the good place is yellow and blue. So we need to start with yellow, blue walls. Let's do this one blue and maybe the rest yellow. <laughs> It's so good. Okay, and you know what's gonna be the centerpiece for this room? There you go, that is a work of art. All right, because we have quite a big hallway to use, I think we're gonna turn this into a little bit of a seating area. So we'll do a fireplace. Okay, now we need a yellow or a blue couch. Let's get something like this directly underneath the window. Then let's maybe do an armchair in that corner next to the fireplace. Maybe let's do it white actually to be nice. Okay, under the clown artwork, I'm gonna do a table, this one here because the decor in Eleanor's house is just quite fun in general. I'm gonna do a little rug in front of the couch. Okay, this side I'm gonna do another seating area. Okay, and there we have it, our good place hallway. So color palette yellow blue. I've added this little fireplace. We have to have our statement clown photo. And then we have another little reading corner at the back. And then on this side, I've done two statement art walls. So that is our hallway complete. Let's move over to, let's do the bathroom. Here we go. Stranger Things! So excited for a Stranger Things bathroom. For wallpaper, we definitely have to do this. And I want to put the fairy lights on the wall. Oh, yeah, something like this is good. That kind of looks like it could be letters. So let's do two rows of that and then more fairy lights underneath. Now we actually need the bathroom. I think we need like a cozy couch area to take inspiration from this picture on one side. And then let's maybe do the bathroom here. Divide it with a half wall. Okay, I want to do one of these in here. It definitely feels like they'd have this kind of shower bath and then the toilet here. Then I think on this side, let's do maybe the sinks against here and then maybe a couch and a table in that corner. I wanna do these rundown cabinets as well. Sink in the middle. And let's do the mirror that has loads of post-it notes. Yes, that's good, let's do that. There we go, now we have a towel and some hand soap. We could do clutter either side, but I think maybe piles of paper and notes like an investigation is underway. Things like that is good for the story. First, I wanna do an armchair in this corner and a little table. Cool, there we go. Ooh, for light, I kind of like this one. This looks sci-fi. That's a big statement of a light in here. Let's do that one. It does kind of look like Stranger Things, like a spaceship. And it makes sense because it's from Strangerville. I didn't even think of the reference before, but of course we have to use stuff from Strangerville. Ooh, should we be evil and use some of this? Like it's starting to to grow through. Maybe we'll do some in this corner. That could be good. Like they haven't properly noticed. Yeah, let's do some in that corner. <laughs> and then of course we need this poster here and here is all the paperwork. So this one and the box of papers. There you go. Beakers and burners. I didn't even know we had these. Okay, these definitely have to go downstairs into our Breaking Bad room. So good. And also these. Yeah, I need more of these. I've run out of space, but I can do that here kind of like this. Yeah, that's good there. Okay, and we have these spore clusters. We definitely need more of these. Let's do them all along this wall here. Just unidentified substances. And there we have it, our Strangerville bathroom. Okay, on to the final two rooms. So we have the final bedroom. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, Black Mirror is gonna be interesting. <gasps> How do we do Black Mirror? Yeah, let's do that. Because my favorite episode in Black Mirror is the, oh, it's the one with the game and the guy goes into work every day and plugs himself into his game. So whatever episode that is, that is what we're gonna take inspiration for, for this for this build. So it's gonna be a super sci-fi bedroom. We need it to kind of look like a spaceship. Actually, let's do the bed the other side. Yeah, there you go, bed the other side. Let's do hanging lights either side of the bed. I have something like this one either side. So this room is gonna be very futuristic. So I need, I think these ones are good. And of course we need a futuristic looking wardrobe and a futuristic looking mirror, this. Oh wait, not this chair, definitely this chair, the glass one. That's definitely a lot more futuristic. What am I doing? We need the desk. We need the actual desk for him to play the game on. That's the fundamental part of this. So let's get a very futuristic looking desk. Definitely a 
future looking, futuristic looking computer. What else do we have? Ooh, yeah, that looks futuristic and cool. Let's stick that up. I can size it down. Let's stick that up there. Imagine that's the game that he's playing. Oh, the gun. Yes, I think he does have a gun that looks like that. This above the bed. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna also scatter some random items here like canister of gas and the barrels, things like that, I think. Make it more realistic. Oh, we need spaceship lights. Let's do that either side. Even though we already have lights, I guess it doesn't hurt to have more. There you go. That is our Black Mirror spaceship episode, if you have seen it. Okay, moving on to our final room. And this, I'm really, really intrigued what we're gonna get because there's a few good series left. Okay, this is gonna be the wardrobe, the walk-in wardrobe, which our character here definitely does not deserve. <sighs> It is the best one for a wardrobe. Pose! First thing that comes to mind are those drapes. So we definitely need a drape like that. Okay, let's get some bright, fun colored walls. Could do something like, oh, should we just do this? Yeah, it kind of is. Pink and blue is the color palette for Pose. So that could be really fun. Okay, we need wardrobe items, of course. So let's open Dream Home Decorator Pack. Okay, we don't actually have that much space for the cabinets. I'm gonna move that over, move this over as well. Then we'll do wardrobe pieces up here. These wardrobe pieces. And of course, shoes. Let's do a mirror here. That would be nice. I really want to do the jungle adventure mirror or we do the light up ones. That could be really, really fun. Okay, we're going to do those ones and we're going to do the speakers in the corner. We're going to size this down and just put them in the corner. There you go. Okay, I don't think we have that much space to be honest, but maybe we can just do a little bench here like that. And I want to add these curtains again there and then one on the other side. And I might delete this one here just because it doesn't really do anything. Oh, I love how it's coming together. Okay, moment of truth though. We do need a disco ball of some sort. Disco ball, please. And what is the second best item if it's not a disco ball? <laughs> could we make that look like a disco ball? Or this, this could kind of look like a disco ball. This is gonna be our disco ball. Okay, we're gonna do this carpet in here. I think that's really fun. We might do two of them side by side. That's good. We need some wall art here. Maybe some fairy lights. A fairy lights there. And you know what we need here? We need the new pride poster. That would be the perfect finishing touch. Let's size it down. There you go. It's so good. I love this room. Here I wanted to do a vanity actually, but I don't think we have any space for that. So I'm just gonna duplicate all of these items again. Maybe in here is the fancy clothes. And then here we need vanity and beauty supplies. Yes, like this. Okay, delete this fairy light and we've now turned this into a custom vanity desk. And now all that's missing are the beauty supplies. And there we go. That is our pose inspired vanity and dressing room. And that's it. That is our TV show inspired house. It looks so crazy, but so much fun to do. Honestly, I really challenge everybody to make a list of all your favorite TV shows and just explore debug and see all the fun items that are in there. Well, thank you so much for watching. That was so much fun to do. And I definitely challenge you all to do it. I think I might do another version of this and call it every room a different reality reality TV show. So leave me a comment down below of what your favorite reality TV shows are. We have an episode of Palm Sims coming soon, so stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video.